I'm not to buy um, it's really cosmopolitan. Um, actually, I love the architecture here. It has so it's known for the sort of star architecture, and sculpture, like so everything is quite overwhelming, and um, I feel like there's quite a few rules that I need to understand um, as an outsider, as a visitor. But I'm um, having really great experience so far. So I wanted to visit a lot of like the architectures to sort of understand the gauge of how it's sit on a desert and how things grow really quickly within the last five, ten years compared to the So um, this installation is for climatology celebrating nature survival tactics. So the name's actually says it's all because um, it's looking into how material can have a much longer lifetime um, to create longevity of surfaces and materials. So it's actually made out of a new material called smart veneer that lives through the whole season as a different reaction to its moistures. And the inspiration is actually coming from a desert plant called the resurrection plant that never dies and survives through a whole different climate change. And it's really dried up um, at a normal state and it's a tumbleweed and it rolls around according to wind in the desert and it blossoms when it's water around. So coming to Dubai and having this installation here it is like coming home for the installation. Okay, the most exciting project um, that I worked on at the moment is climatology uh, project but actually that's another project I want to mention actually I'm going to talk about this one first because this project allows me to really experiment with nature and the whole design concept is about biomimicry and allowing nature to design for us opposing like human artificial technology it's really sort of overtaking the world and but we're using technology that's existed over 30 billion years ago from the nature um, because what we're learning from is the memory behavior from nature instead of using artificial like programming um, but in fact it's still as obvious uh, how wood would curl when it's dried up and it could create more shapes and emotion for us but actually one of the really exciting projects I'm working on at the moment is I travel to South China in Guangzhou uh, work with the ethnic minorities the neo uh, ethnic minorities work with women um, that are left behind in the village and train them and working with the uh, weaving uh, skills. I'm trained as a weaver originally, so it meant a lot for me. Uh, the reason that motivated me to go to that area is because I found out 70% of the women actually have to leave the village to go to town to work as labourers in the factories because they're not so well educated and um, they love the craft but there's no request for any craft work anymore. So now that I go out there and train them uh, and we're working on really exciting new uh, copper textiles and um, I'm, I'm really excited to carry on for this year. So my next project, actually I have many things next project, um, but along with my installation I also run a um, uh, material consultancy, so I will carry on making like new materials and also um, actually you know what I want to mention is um, I want to bring this into really large scale pieces and start collaborating with uh, architects and uh, furniture designers and to make them not in mass production point of view but then just really look at how these can benefit in industrial design and how this material other than installation what function it can benefit um, through toolings um, into a lot more complicated shapes rather than normal veneers and um, so that will be the next challenge uh, to work with factory um, manufacturers.